Ready? Yep. Okay. Hello and welcome to Ask Dad in the Garden. I'm Eleanor, this is Dad, and we're in the garden. Dad, today I want to ask you, how do you attract wildlife to a pond? Well, I suppose we better start by having a pond. Okay. Um, so, uh, and you'd be surprised, first of all, uh, adding a pond to a garden does make a huge difference. Uh, to, to the, the amount of wildlife using the garden, so it's definitely worth doing. Um, and it doesn't have to be particularly large, so small gardens can accommodate small ponds and still be quite effective. There are some things that like bigger ponds to live in. Um, some of the big dragonflies uh, will only use ponds above a certain size, and toads like ponds to be quite large, whereas frogs will use quite a small area. Um, you need a variety of depth in the pond. Okay. You certainly need uh, some sort of shallow area, a ramp, so to speak, but uh, anything that fell into the pond and doesn't want to be in the pond you can get out easily. Okay, yep. uh, but you also need, ideally, some part of your pond to be at least half a metre or more deep because uh, in, in freezing conditions that will ensure that at least some of the water is very, very unlikely to freeze. Uh, otherwise, yes, variety of depth, different shelves, different heights, uh, some uh, introduce some um, uh, native pond plants. Don't put in uh, invasive non-native species because they're really a very bad idea. Uh, and having some other cover on the ground near the pond is quite useful. Damp areas that um, Rocks will go into because amphibious amphibious reptiles actually spend all of their time out of the water. They're not in the pond all the time, so they also need uh, adjacent areas for, for for the other parts of their life cycle. Okay. Um, but pretty much any body of water, small body of water, even uh, with those characteristics, will start attracting wildlife into your garden. Right. Thank you, Dad. 